Every election season, we want you to get to know each candidate's positions on the most pressing issues. Tonight, we're hearing from the candidates in the second congressional district race. We asked, what can the federal government do right now to lower inflation for food and household goods? So because food and household goods are transported, it starts with gasoline. We got to lower those prices. We got to start drilling. We got to start opening up. We, we need to work on re regulations as well that will help lower some of these costs. Well, the good news is we've already taken some steps, and I'm excited about this because we passed for the first time a bill to allow Medicare to negotiate lower prices for prescription medication, and it won't just impact Medicare because the insurance companies will accept those prices and it'll benefit everyone. Step one, we've also limited what seniors are going to pay. They're on a fixed income, so they're going to pay um, up to $2,000 a year for medication, $35 a month for insulin, and my favorite, because it was my bill, they're going to have free vaccines, and that includes the shingles vaccine. On food, we've got to deal with the supply chain, but we've also got to tackle that profiteering and price gouging that's going on. The same with oil. Um, you know, look, ExxonMobil is getting 300% profits, and I want to make sure we tackle that.